Hi, this is Kylan from Foothill Beekeeping. It's been a while, but today we have something exciting to share with you. We've had a busy few months relocating swarms from around town. Most of them were pretty straightforward and easy. However, today we're going to be relocating and extracting honey from a huge hive. This hive has been thriving for over a year, but was near a school and playground. Since school was closed last year, no one really cared or noticed, and the property owners were of course happy to have bees pollinating their garden. However, school is back and bees have not been so welcome anymore at the school. We're planning on saving the comb to extract honey and relocate as many of the bees as possible safely to our yard. All right, so as you can see, this is a pretty large hive. It's located in an abandoned composter box and has been thriving for quite some time. We're gonna start off by smoking the outside, tell the bees that we're here, and then we'll lift the lid and hopefully see rows of organized honeycomb inside. So this looks like a lot of juicy honeycomb. Hopefully we don't destroy too much of it while we're opening the lid so we can extract it later, as well as the bees. We're planning on sorting the usable honeycomb into a bucket and putting the bees into our small hive, which will be their new home. <laughs> Alright, so now we're home and are excited to harvest our new honey. We're going to start off by mushing the juicy comb to open up as many cracks as possible, and then we'll move on to the extracting. As you can see, we have a lot of honey to work with. For this part, we simply squeeze out all the honey into the bowl. We're just using a layer of cheesecloth to keep the chunks in. Now that we have all the fresh honey in a bowl, we can move on to the next step, filtering. This part is crucial to producing clean, delicious honey and requires running the honey through layers of cheesecloth, strainers, and other filter materials. We're starting out with a larger filter to remove most of the chunks and then we will work down until our honey is pure. Putting the honey into individual jars is the next and final step to the honey harvesting process. It's simple enough and we're just using a funnel to pour it in. so we're back a few days later to check up on the new hive. As you can see, it appears that we still have our bees. This is a great sign because if we weren't able to get the queen, then all these bees would have left in search of her. When collecting a swarm of this size in a location like they were, there's not always a great chance of finding the queen, but if you look close, you can see she has laid some eggs in the comb we provided, which means she must be here.
thanks for watching this educational video in our Working With Bees video series. We hope you enjoyed it, but don't worry, that's not it. We have more for you to watch. Just click here to watch the next one or click here to subscribe. Check out our website at foothillbeekeeping.com or email us with foothillbeekeeping at gmail.com.